My name's Julian, and this is the $1 to $10,000 thrifting challenge. Can you take a four or five to the pelvis? Plenty money going around, I'm not selfish. And the ladies love me, Elvis. <laughs> Guys, we did it. We have finally reached our first goal in this overall challenge of reaching $1,000. Honestly, I'm just shocked. This has kind of always just been like a side project for me. I haven't taken it too seriously until I started doing these events. I just love fashion, I love clothes, and being able to make money doing this is like crazy to me. Being able to build a following and have subscribers and all this other shit is also crazy to me. Just your guys' continuous support has been amazing and really cool whenever I meet someone new who recognizes me. It's just so dope. But this is our new balance for the start of today's video. This is because of the event that I just did previously in Schaumburg. I haven't showed you guys any footage from that. That will probably be in a few videos later. I feel like there's no better way than to hit our first goal of $1,000 than in episode 10. 10 episodes over the span of a few months. I try to make as much time to film go thrifting and edit these videos as I can and also sell the product. As much as I'd wanna be at the goal already, I'm enjoying the process, I'm having a good time, and I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. But yeah, for today's video, it's just gonna be more thrifting. We got some heat today, you guys definitely need to stay till the end to see all the crazy shit we found. And from last video, I wasn't able to show you what my buddy gave me. I think I got some footage to show y'all what I got. All right, let's check it out. Yo, what's good guys? I'm in my workshop right now. And I just wanted to show you guys the jackets that I bought for my friend for a hundred dollars. He absolutely hooked me up. So I figured I had to show you guys like it is some awesome shit. And you guys are gonna be like, damn, dude, your homies are hooking you up. But yeah, let me show you what I got. My workshop is literally a mess right now though. Cause like, I'm about to prepare for my next Illinois Vintage Fest. I have like just a lot of organizing and pricing to do. The jackets look sick. Everything from here to the end, he literally gave me. And then he also gave me some things over there. All these pants right here. Bro just hooked me the fuck up. And I, I it's insane. We got this fucking awesome, like, it says my name on it, even cooler. Leather racing jacket. Got this jacket as well. He like, he thrifted a lot of like older, like Korean pieces, Japanese pieces, he said as well. This one says Drew on it. That's funny. My friend Drew will like that. Um, But that's like a nice jacket there. Another jacket here. And this is my favorite thing that he gave me. Dude, look at this fucking jacket, bro. Holy shit, bro. I almost want to keep this for myself. Adidas race car jacket. All the patches on here are insane. I haven't tried it on yet. I want to know if it fits me. It says it's a size small, but like, no way this is a small. This probably could fit me, but that thing's fucking crazy. More jackets, another jacket. This jacket's sick. This one's pretty sweet. Some knits, another jacket, another jacket, another jacket. Dude, it's literally all just jackets. They're like insane. And I only gave them like 150 bucks for all these. So that's crazy. Like, bro, do you guys see all these jackets? Holy fuck. So that's all the jackets he gave me. Then he gave me some like sweater vest type things that I haven't hung up yet. But like, like about six of those, dude. And this piece is also crazy, dude. The MF Doom fucking crew neck. That thing's fucking sweet. Also gave me these Vans. They're literally brand new. And then he gave me like four pairs of Levi's and some leather pants. Like, dude, just hook me up. 150 bucks. That's like the sickest bundle ever. And I also have another bundle that I just purchased recently that I told you guys about last video. I spent like 200 bucks on some things that you'll see soon. When those come in, I'm gonna show you guys. But yeah, I gotta get going on pricing the rest of this shit. Um, as you can see, the racks are already pretty full. This is from before and I have to price all this shit. And then everything in this box right here is new things that I've thrifted as well. We got a lot of shit to do right now. Um, we're about a week out from the event. It's Monday, the event's Saturday. A little less than a week. Let's get busy. All right, so me and my mom made a quick Goodwill stop before we go get some furniture at Ikea today. Didn't want to take too much time up, so only found a few things. It's not too bad. Starting off, we got this like wine button up. Don't know if I'm gonna get it. All the pink tags are 50% off today, so this is 50% off, but I don't know. It's all right. Then this like Mexico, I'm not 100% sure what it says, but the back graphic was kind of cool. Uh, it's got like sparkles and shit on it. I'm probably gonna pass. Um, then we got the Winnie the Pooh sweatshirt. This one's pretty cool, got the Disney tag. Then we got two Columbia jackets. I don't really know the market too well on Columbia jackets. I've sold the other jackets before, but like sweaters like this, I'm not too familiar. So I don't know about this one. It's also the red one, the Chicago Cubs zip up might sell. Nice front and back hit. And then my mom found this Where's Waldo crew neck. This thing is sweet, I'm not gonna lie. I actually have no idea where Waldo is on this thing, but this is pretty cool. And it is half off, so that's dope. Then we got a nice little champion, reverse weave crew neck. Also this Russell zip up hoodie is fire. 2XL though, but not too bad, I fuck with it. And then my mom also found this Miller High Life vest. 
that's also half off so that's pretty sweet probably gonna cop this overall pretty decent trip what's good homies i should be editing this week's video but instead we're hitting the thrift let's get it i have not been to this thrift in a fat minute so hopefully they got some updated shit i'm hoping to see some new stuff in here let's pray for that all right so they actually did add a few new things as you can see i have a decent amount of stuff everything's a little random we got some good shit so let's take a look starting off we got the rocky balboa shorts i'm probably gonna have to keep these for myself these are cool these will be fire for fourth of july and i just wear crazy shorts all the time so these are cool going on with the u.s theme we got the u.s jersey 2010 this might be a 2010 jersey actually the cobra on the back that's fire. Just came back from Vegas, found the casino shirt, Potawatomi Bingo, Milwaukee, Wisconsin casino. That shit rhymes, damn. Then we got two 2005 White Sox tees. Nice little piece right there. And then this one's pretty cool too. For those guys who cannot do math, that's almost 20 years old. Basically fucking vintage. I actually found like 10 other Star Wars shirts. They're all new school. I didn't feel like grabbing them all, but these are some of the cool ones, I guess. This one's dope. I like the big graphic on this one. I think I have the same graphic, but on a crew neck. And then this one was all right. Moving on, we got the Mount Rushmore piece. I have some other Mount Rushmore piece that's also part of the challenge. That shit is so hard to fucking sell. No one wants that shit, but this one's actually kind of cool because it's like a gray, nice and simple one. So I don't know, I still might grab it. Everything is 40% off here today. So like this shit's dirt cheap. Oh, and it wraps around. I didn't even know that. That's fire. Then we got Pokemon T. This one's like a small. Did someone say battle? Chimchar is the goat for real. Yeah, I don't know if I'll cop that though. And then another Pokemon shirt. This one looks like it's got its fair share of wearing. My size though. And I just be wearing random shit like this around the house. So I don't know. Might have to. The nice all brown Columbia crew neck. This is cold. 2XL. Not bad. It's a nice little essential piece right there. Then we got the Door County. I had another Door County piece, I think, in like my life. Like, two or three videos ago. We got fishes all over. Fishes get you hella bitches. You know how it is. Nice little cub zip up. Got that thick shit on there. <laughs> and then this is probably the craziest piece of the whole trip. Warrior jacket. Look at that cuffing, bro. I love the details on this. And it's only like a, it's like a quarter button up. <laughs> only $10, 40% off. This shit's probably six bucks. That's crazy. It's from Gem Sportswear. So I want to say this is Golden State Warriors, but I could be completely wrong. That's like a nice piece right there. And then I literally found five of these jerseys. Some are blank. Some have some stuff on it. Um, I might as well fucking cop, bro. This is the Lakers colorway. This is, and they're dirt cheap, bro. Seven bucks. Some got numbers on them. These are just nice, bro. I'll probably just cop the ones that have nothing on the front. Like this is an example of some that have something on it. Like it says lightheaded. I don't know. That's just kind of not for me. It's not bad though. Oh, sorry. I was looking at that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was more like the work wear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like your jacket. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I like vests. Mm-hmm. They're excellent in the winter time. Mm-hmm. And then probably these two pieces. I'll just cop for myself. This is kind of a nice piece right here. And then these jeans, I already tried them on. I like this colorway, man. I don't got any wash like this, so I'm going to pick those up for sure. Overall, decent. Just found this guy up the front. It's got no price, though. I hope they let me take it. It's about time that place finally did something nice for me. They let me keep the Pikachu for free. Even though I've spent an outrageous amount of money here, that felt nice. Thank you. So I just finished up moving in some new stuff into my new apartment. And it's a little late now, but I looked to see what thrifts were open. And there's this new one called Unique Thrift Store I've never been to. I feel like someone mentioned this thrift store to me recently. But uh, I'm about to go check it out, see what they got. You know the drill. Let's run it up. All right, so I just finished up in here. And honestly, this is like, this is just like a Sabres before. And I think they turned it into this store. Why does shit in here? <laughs> Forget it, whatever. Let's dive in. So the first most disappointing piece was this Batman tee. 1999 from Six Flags. But it's dry rotted. And here's a video of me showing what dry rotting means. I am tired of fighting every single day. I fight to wake up. I fight to go to sleep. All I do is fight for everybody else. But when is somebody going to feel like I'm good enough to fight for? I'm tired of surviving and I want to live. You think it's just so easy to get over everything? To just like, yo, you think I wouldn't give any- That just sucks, man. Basically, the material is just old and can't be used anymore. Then we got White Sox All-Star Game. Not bad. From the Super Bowl this year, Hooters Tea, Fire. Decent price. I think I can get 30% off here if I uh, join like the membership or whatever the fuck it is. Um, Outback Bowl 2008, Wisconsin, Tennessee. Nice back hit. And then there's these three Nike tees. Bro, they're so sick. All Y2K. 
gray tag but they're all 3xl bro this one's sweet this one's just absolutely insane bro and it's got a little side hit here too but all 3xl terrible sizes this one's got like a center swoosh like what i i, I just can't get 3xls bro these are too hard to move it's, it would be stupid of me but may, maybe one of them i don't know then this sweater is pretty cool it's michael kors 14 dollars. i'm only gonna get this if it's 30 percent off yeah that's a nice piece then we got the audi jacket right here got the audi in the fam then we got the coke one probably gonna skip on that one flat out it's a baseball piece i just like the ribbing then we got the white socks nice crew neck here white socks tag not bad and then this might be one of my favorite pieces it's this crazy nautica sweater quarter zip tripping on the price a little bit 16 bucks this shit's cool as fuck all right so i just left there honestly from only having like 45 minutes to check out the whole store it was pretty solid like it was definitely just a savers before because when i went to check out and how i thought there was 30 percent off i looked into the finer details of the sign and it said for only certain amount or for only new members for only like shoes and boots or something i don't know something stupid i went to type in my num my code in when i was checking out and it, it said savers reward so like so that means i had to miss out on a few items because you know I wasn't gonna cop some shit for 15 bucks, like a shirt like that. I put some stuff back and then I ended up checking out just a few things. I only got like five things and it still applied a discount to my total at the end. Honestly, it might have been 30% off. I have no idea. I couldn't figure out the math when I was doing it. It's whatever. Missed out on a few things. Nothing too big. I'm still got what I wanted at pretty good prices. So that was a dub. And this is pretty close to my apartment. So definitely gonna be back. Yo, what's good, guys? As you can tell, my hair is kind of fucking crazy nowadays. I really, I'm trying to grow it out, I guess. I think I need to give it a little trim. So I have a haircut appointment today at like one. It's like 10 right now. And I'm kind of sick thrifting, to be honest. Like, I don't know. I, I just don't want to do it anymore, I don't think. Psych, we're at the thrift. <laughs> I probably didn't fool anyone with that, but we're going there right now. We're hitting the thrift. 40% off today, I think. Um, haven't been able to thrift in a minute. Still in my move-in process. I think I'll be up and in my new apartment either tonight or tomorrow, like fully living in there. I've been building my bed, my dresser, got a TV, and maybe I'll do a little video on like an apartment tour or some shit. Comment if you wanna see that shit, I don't know. I got three other roommates. Obviously, I'm not gonna decorate it as much as I would if it was just myself because I already had the vision for my own apartment, some studio apartment, big windows overlooking Chicago. We'll get there one day, but this is a good step in the right direction living with my boys. It's probably one of the last times I'll be able to do that because you know, I'm like a 23 year old man and we're just getting older and older and, and sometimes you just gotta like go with the flow of things. So I'm excited for it like a lot. St. Patty's Day is this weekend. Um, you probably won't even fucking see this for another month <laughs> after St. Patty's Day. So this Saturday is when I'll be doing like a bar crawl with my friends, some degenerate ass shit, you know. Why, why else do I move to Chicago, you know? That's the point, you go, go have some fun. Yeah, enough talking about nothing. Uh, let's hop in this thrift and see what kind of finds we can find today. I feel like the seasons are changing, so they might be getting rid of jackets and shit at like a lower price. And that's kind of what I'm looking for. I want some cool jackets. I've been finding hella jackets, as you guys have seen, and they're fire. And yeah, so just want to keep getting more because that's like a high ticket item that we can flip. Shirts are cool and all. And like when you find that banger tee, it feels awesome. But like getting that jacket for 20 bucks and flipping it for 50, 60 feels pretty good too. So we're just on that grind. I'm about to be there in a minute. So we're going to walk in there and hopefully find some heat. It was absolutely packed in here today. Couldn't even get a cart. Shit was messed up. It made me not want to even thrift in here, to be honest, because I was carrying all of this on my hands. And it's a decent amount, but nothing too crazy, to be honest. And I did see someone that I've met through my videos, which is pretty cool. And I saw in his car, he already kind of went through everything and he has some good stuff in there. He ended up giving me a few things. He's like, hey, for the video, I'm like, I bet I appreciate that. Like this Harley piece, the back hits crazy. Front's not bad. It is a cutoff though, which kind of sucks, but still Harley. Another Harley here, this one's pretty mid though. A little Simpsons tee, gave me this piece too. Got the Nike, also new school. A little back tag on here. And then he gave me this one as well. This one's kids, but like, it's actually kind of clean. Like, it's not bad. This is a gray tag, so early 2000s, Y2K. Then we got the North Carolina jersey. That's just fire. And then some like essential pieces, maybe for myself. I love wearing crew necks. So shit like this is dope. I've had price, 50% off today. Cool color. 
Tommy Bahama, and another one. I love reverse stitching. Both of these are just clean pieces. I could probably sell these too. Nice little bear's long sleeve. Good price for a long sleeve. Two bucks. Probably still not gonna get it though. Embroidery on here, thick as fuck. Two of them. Bueno Vista. Crew necks. Nice and simple. And then this is probably gonna be a personal cop as well. It's got little stains on there. Probably will come out though. Hunter Hunter, favorite anime. Might just have to. It's like the Dickies jacket, except it's from Croft and Barrow. Clean. If it fits me, honestly, I need to add this to my colorway collection. I got brown and black right now in jackets like this, so a navy would be dope. That's pretty much it. Nothing too crazy. Kind of wraps it all up. All right, here's a little update for y'all. I got the haircut. Pretty fresh, I'm not gonna lie. I wanted to keep it a little longer somehow, but still clean it up. And I guess that just wasn't possible with like cleaning it up because I, I needed a fade, I guess. I don't fucking know. My hair looks good. I can't complain. I, I think I'm gonna try to grow it out though in the in back and everything. Two miles, turn left onto North Kimball Avenue. Another update, I am now living in the city. I've slept in my apartment two days now. Um, it's about to be St. Patty's Day weekend celebrations in Chicago tomorrow for me. So that's exciting. Um, but right now we are hitting the unique thrift store that I've hit previously. Last time I went, it was about a week ago. So I wanna see like kinda how often they update things there. I'm expecting some new shit there. And if it is good, I, that'll probably be one of my frequent spots that I'll visit. But um, there are a lot of other places in the city I know for sure that are good thrift spots. I'm just staying close. This place is pretty close for me. It's only like 10, 15 minutes away from my house. So uh, we're checking it out again and hopefully I'll have good news for you guys. But uh, yeah. Let's go. Not a ton of finds today, but got a few tees, a few jerseys, and a jacket. Not too bad. I think I'm gonna walk away with this side table right here too from my bedroom. Might have to. As far as the clothes, we got this United Grandpas of America shirt. Pretty cool. Uh, this main tee is pretty cool. I like the background. Pretty artsy. And then I saw someone put this back on the rack. They had this, this sick Liverpool jersey, and they put it back. Bro, this thing is sweet. I was like, no way, and I scooped it up so fast. What to come up. This Reebok NHL jersey. I, I have no idea what hockey team this is. I'm not even gonna lie, but like hockey jerseys are tough, so that's cool. Then we got the Bulls jersey, number 20, $13. It says at and Social Night on the back probably 2020 it's fire and then this born fly jacket it's got a bunch of patches and embroidery on it huge back hit not too bad this was pretty decent can't complain all right guys that pretty much wraps up today's video i did just wake up i was working on editing this video all last night but here we are now i need to film a little outro for the end of this video and pretty much all i gotta say is i'm like just proud of how far we've gotten reaching that a thousand dollar goal it's pretty dope and we're literally 10% of the overall goal, which is fucking awesome. I did finally get around to posting some new listings on Depop. So definitely go check out the link in my description to my Depop. I have a bunch of vintage for sale. Go check that out. Mostly all the things I've listed are part of the challenge. Check that out, cop something you like, and I'm gonna continue to keep updating my Depop so we can get some more sales online and hopefully we can have another event pretty soon that i can go to and sell some vintage in person but other than that make sure to check out my instagram TikTok, and subscribe to this channel leave a comment like the video i've been working on a few new video ideas so those are gonna be coming soon but yeah that's pretty much it if you made it to the end of this video i appreciate you and i'll see you in the next one peace